Russia changes missile strikes on Ukraine tactics in anticipation of F-16's arrival. Russia has begun to strike Ukrainian airfields in recent weeks, fearing the arrival of F-16 fighter jets, according to the UK Ministry of Defence. Throughout June 2024, the Russian Air Force continued to put pressure on the front line in Ukraine with tactical aircraft, while kamikaze drones continue to strike deeper infrastructure and military installations. However, between June the 12th and June the 18th, Russian long-range aircraft shifted the focus of their cruise missile attacks to Ukrainian air bases, almost certainly due to the success of Ukrainian air defense, but also likely reflecting Russian concerns about the future use of F-16s. According to the UK Ministry of Defence, a series of coordinated Ukrainian attacks on targets in Crimea have destroyed critical elements of Russia's S-300 and S-400 surface-to-air missile systems. These successes underscore Russia's attempt to protect its assets in Crimea despite the significant economic costs of air defence. While it is likely that Russia can replace systems quickly, continued attrition will likely force Russia to draw on equipment from other areas, as it has done previously, if it wishes to maintain its density of air defense coverage. Alternatively, Russia may be forced to accept a reduction in capability, placing its forces on Crimea at increased risk, the report says. Ukraine's continued successful attacks on Russian airfields, such as Mozdok, Aktubinsk, and more recently Morozovsk, have likely forced Russia to continue its policy of dispersing its airbases further from the front line. This will almost certainly result in increased airframe and aircrew fatigue as sortie times increase. It is possible that the accidental loss of Su-34 fullback fighter bomber in the North Ossetia region of southern Russia on the 12th of June was linked to this. The UK Ministry of Defence says the first F-16s will arrive in Ukraine this summer. According to The Guardian, the fighters will protect Kharkiv from Russian strikes as Russia has been making extensive use of guided aerial bombs, launching bombs from aircraft that remain in Russian airspace. Russia has been using cabs extensively against the city of Kharkiv in recent weeks, launching the bombs from planes that remain inside Russian airspace. Numerous Ukrainian sources said F-16s would protect Ukraine's second city from these weapons, the article says, the article recalls that the Netherlands and Denmark have allowed Ukraine to use F-16s against Russian aircraft, even if they are in Russian airspace. Yemen's Iran's Bakhtuti militant group has for the first time released a video showing their June 12th attack on Greek cargo ship in Red Sea. The video that emerged on Thursday shows the attack on MV Tudor coal carrier in the Red Sea. According to maritime security companies and the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations UKMTO, the vessel was struck with the use of missiles and an explosive-laden remote-controlled boat. The UKMTO said on Tuesday that the Tudor was believed to have become the second ship sunk by Houthis in the region since November. 21 of the 22 Filipino seafarers aboard the Greek-owned MV Tudor were rescued. One of the crew members believed to be working in the vessel's engine room during the attack is still missing. The other crew members returned to the Philippines this week. The vessel sank and reportedly drifted to the eastern African coast and was last seen near Eritrea, Migrant Workers Secretary of Philippines, Hans Kakdak said. Reuters has confirmed the ship as MV Tudor from the design and shape of the ship's antenna and deck, which matched file images. The name written on the bow of the ship also matched with file images. The Houthi militants have launched dozens of missile and drone attacks targeting ships in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden since Israel launched attacks on Gaza following the Hamas attack on southern Israel in October last year.